and on the second last day of the season, I can tell you that it hurt to watch that target buck just walk away, and walk away a lot more educated than when he'd came. Now here we were, it was the last day. We'd spooked the one buck, the other buck had a busted horn, and we had one last resort. We knew of a great old 4x4 that was hanging around in the plots that we put in at one of our friend's farms. Now it wasn't the 170-inch deer that Rochelle was looking for, but I thought that if we could get her in front of this great old buck, that she just might let an arrow fly. So in we headed with only hours left in the season. A short time later, the deer began to move, and then the buck I was hoping on, a great old buck, made an appearance. I looked at Rochelle with excitement, only to notice that she hadn't gotten ready to shoot. She just simply gave me the nod that this wasn't her buck. 